Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I seem very close to the screen today, but then I... hello, Marina, my love. Oh, look at the doors peeking open. Never mind. Uh, uh, hello, Alison. How are you? How how is everybody? Oh, I've just I've just put moisturizer on my face. Hello, Louise. And uh, it's a bit um, itchy for some reason. Morning, Jan. Thank you very much for your um, mask yesterday. Hello, Sue. I'd love to know. I'm going to press that wave thing in a minute and see what happens. Morning, Pam Minihani. How are you? Oh, crikey, I've knocked everything off the top. Oh, not been very organised this morning. I feel like I'm huge in the screen. Can you make it smaller? Hello, Camden Town. Oh, did you see there was a blooming shooting in Islington yesterday up near Pentonville Prison? I oh, know. I used to cut through there when I was going to Angels. Uh, who's that? Morning, Gail. Morning, Andrea. Sorry, I don't know. There we go. There we go. We're up to scratch again now. Marcia, how are you, my lovely? Hello, Mark. All right, mate. Hello, Carol. Which channel are you watching? Hello, Princess. Now, Princess, was it you or was it um, Shelley that said you've been eating speedy foods? I can't find my list of speedy foods anywhere. Uh, thank you, Barbara. It's one of my oldest ones, this one. But it's weird. It still fits. I feel as fat as a pig, but it still fits. Good morning, Julie. How are you, my lovely? We'll start in a second. Not that I've got that much to tell you, but I thought I'd just go over the update. Uh, short watch, got a haircut at 12. Oh, how lovely. Hang on, on Sunday. <coughs> haircut on a Sunday. South thing, Lincoln shirt, lovely. Is it, is it nice? It's beautiful here. I know. I don't know if I can turn my camera. I'll turn my camera around later when I, when I finish my demonstration. Thanks to all that sent me love last. Oh, yes, Jeanette. How are you, my love? It's a horrible time, isn't it? Morning, Susan, with a... Teddy bear, a sunshine, a heart and a rainbow. Windy in Derbyshire, but nice. It's very windy here. I've just had my breakfast in the garden. It's beautiful sunshine. Beautiful sunshine. Oh, princess, refresh. Refresh, you'll get the sound. Now look, silly nanny jilly, look. I've got friends with me today. Portland is sunny. Hello, Cheryl. Clangy bye. Clangy bye, that's a nice name. Was that where you live? Windy South Shields, always windy in South Shields, isn't it? West Yorkshire, oh, it's lovely here, it's beautiful here. Morning, Judith, how are you, my lovely? Morning, Anne. Hello, Maureen. I have to shout because Maureen's a bit further away. Hello, Bernie. She's saying hello to John and all. Uh, breezy Pembrokeshire. Yeah, it's really windy here, but beautiful. The sunshine's beautiful. Sunny but windy Crick. Leanne, windy Hail Zoe. To get rid of the smell, isn't it? Inhales on, you need the wind, don't you? Morning, Valerie Jardine, Le Jardin. Uh, hello, everyone, says Jane. Morning, says Diamond from Edinburgh. I must say, there's no uh, Gillingham in Dorset. Oh, Carolyn. Hello, Carol. I've just written an envelope to you. Uh, morning, Carol. I bought Bernie Corners watching. She's on her second load of washing. Her mum sent me a message yesterday because of my hair. Also, who had their first haircut yesterday? Frida's. Um, Dulcie's, her internet's playing up. Donna had her first haircut yesterday. There's a hairdresser in view that was open all night. Well, I think my barber's opened at six o'clock the other morning, but my appointment's not till later in July, the 11th. Ne oh, it must be next Saturday. It must be next Saturday. Morning, June. June is busting out all over. God, I look fat, don't I? Uh, it's sunny in Eastbourne. That's two Junes watching at the same time, but very blowy. It'll be lovely to walk on the beach today. Windy and cold in Lancashire, but dry after three days of rain. Sally says, Come, sun just coming out in Cornwall. Lockdown, Glenfield. Right, let's not talk about lockdown, because I've just seen the pictures of Soho last night, and I'm disgusted, but that's another story. Sunny and windy in uh, Nuneaton. Windy, but keep drifting in and out. Sunny, am I a bit of sorry? Blustery, and hubby's up a ladder. Oh, Kate, you be careful. Oh, he's building your sewing studio, that's fine. Uh, been out walking, he's been walking out in the rain. How do we get to join in the doll donations? Oh, I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me write that down. Doll. Uh, oh, look, did Lynn Twitt come in? I didn't see Lynn Twitt come in. It's a mixed bag, says Cheryl. Wet and windy in Northern Ireland. Oh, being blown about in Norfolk. I don't mind being blown about as long as it's not raining. Windy Harlington. I think everyone's got the wind this morning, haven't they, as it were. I'm in a bubbling chest with my daughter and grandson this weekend. Oh, that's nice. Windy Grimsby, that's because of the smell of fish. Uh, nice and sunny here in London. Your door is moving, it's a bit scary. It's because all the windows are open. Hang on a sec. 
There you go. That better. That was given to me by Angelina Jolie, by the way. Name drop clan. Uh, good morning. Right, I had to reboot my phone. Is it working now, princess? Right, so Lin Chu, it's in. I didn't see it come in. Hello, Adele. Adele's waving like that. Jill, as in fish Jill for Gillian. Oh, oh, Gill oh you said Gillingham. Gillingham, not Gillingham. Oh, sorry. What's that programme you were watching last night? Oh, oh, 90 Day Fiancé, it's called. Now, it's shut now. It's shut now, don't worry. It's shut now. It's on TLC, right? Morning at Susan in South Yorkshire. And it's about these programmes, who, people who are dating on the internet, and it follows you that to their... They go and meet the people for the first time. I could do a job as a weatherman, couldn't I? Except I don't know where anything is on the map. I'd be rubbish at pointing on the map. Uh, sunny in Portsmouth. Oh, nice. Hello, Jackie. What's it like in Ellesmere Port today? Right, Princess is all right. She's got us now. Uh, we're still shielding here on the other way. Good for you, Jenny. Good for you. Don't get me started about Soho last night. I'm sure it was every, It was like that in lots of towns. I've only seen pictures of Soho. What are those people thinking? What are they thinking? Oh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, morning, Hannah Bradley Cohen. How are you? Hello, wet yourself, Wendy. Gosh, she's, she's normally in bed by now with a hangover. I'm not by now, but still. No, she gave me the door, Nikki. She gave me the, the leather wrap. I thought you had a ghost. No, it's the wind, because I have all the windows open. I have a nice blow through. Uh, Helen wants to chop back some hedge today, but it's too windy. Morning, Claire. Windy in York, says Carol. I don't go to York anymore now that Pavers TV is shut down. Honestly, that's what Hannah thought. I'd, that, that I'd got the door as a present from Angelina as well. Sunny in Silverstone. We get that programme. It's very strange. OK, I'll first tell you very, very quickly. Oh, uh, Karen's just finished a FaceTime with her granddaughter in Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne. I love 90 Day Fiancé. So it's people who are, in, um, are dating on the internet, right? They are. They're mad. They're oh, the people last night. Yes, exactly. People in Soho are, are idiots, yeah. They don't think that's the problem. What, going out in the street and getting drunk and everything? Oh, no, look, I've got Marty Bor and I've got Simon Lipman watching. Oh, I've got the Borovix gang on. Just been picking beans from the garden. Oh, very nice. Yeah, they think it'll never happen to them, exactly. I'm on my, watching on my way to Bushy. What are you going to Bushy for? Didn't we used to film a lot in Bushy? I think we did. Oh, let's see the rap, please. Oh, I'll get it out for you in a second. I thought I was the only one watching. Well, no, my friend Francesca, who's very highbrow, she told me about it this week. Um, oh, it's at Wendy and Wirral. I'll talk to Julie later. I haven't seen Julie come in yet, actually. Um, Windy and overcast in Ellieport. Oh, sunny in Sussex. Uh, anyway, 90 Day Fiancé. Morning, Lisa. Shouldn't you be doing... Lisa's trained to be a vicar. Uh, no, they're not thinking, Jane. They're just selfish. That's what they are, aren't they? Selfish. Windy in Leicestershire. Oh, you're all locked down. You won't have been out drinking last night in Leicestershire. No, no, Pavers shops are open, but Pavers TV has gone. Pavers TV has gone completely. There's not even a channel anymore. Uh, don't worry, Dan, we haven't even started yet. They don't think, they don't, they, those people go to Soho and other places. Morning, Katie. Um, oh, can I have a new sofa? Oh, very nice. Patricia, getting Sunday lunch ready. Very nice. Bit oh, no, it's not early. It's 11 o'clock, isn't it? It's put me right off internet data. Mm. Right, people in London, brainless morons. I know, I know, I know. Good morning, Valerie. Morning, uh, Jacqueline. Uh, morning, Sandra Sakalas. Oh, loads of people coming in. Right, OK, so let's just quickly, if I miss your message, if you ask a question and I don't answer it, it's because the messages go up too quickly. Oh, wobble the thing. And um, I don't see it, right? And then if I, I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Just ask it again later on and I might see it coming up next time. So 90 Day Fiancé is where people... Oh, Wendy's not allowed out. But you can still drink indoors, Wendy. Him indoors can get you some drinking, can't you? Oh, got you on the telly, thanks to the fire stick. Oh, God, I look dreadful on a big telly with my open paws. Donna Marie, good morning. Tibamore, where's that? Tibamore. Wet and windy in Ballymena, as usual. Oh, Sylvia, yeah, but it's a lovely place to live, though, isn't it? Uh, yes, Claire, Derek's starting on Crafters TV. I know. Because his cruise channel only films once a month now as well. Uh, come on, morning from Devon. Morning. Right, okay, let's get on, let's get on. So, first of all, oh, hang on, my mouth no, has not left us for 15 weeks. Oh. oh, I look gorgeous. Thank you, Adele. Do you want to borrow my glasses? Uh, oh, hey, girl, I've got plenty of fabric for therapy dolls, but my printer's broken. Can anyone please send me the pattern? Oh, um, and, and private message me with your address and I'll send you a pattern. I'll print it off for you and send it to you. Right, 
Okay, so let's talk about 98. A morning. There's Julie. There's Julie. Uh, have you got the tell? Have you on the telly for the first time? Oh, lots of people put me on the telly for the first time today. I love Miss Fisher's murder mystery set in Melbourne. Oh, never even heard of that one. Can they be that desperate for a drink? I know, I know, I know, I know. Christine, you're very kind, thank you. Oh, I look fabulous apparently in Perthshire. It's because it's a long way away, isn't it? Rainy Island, oh dear, ne Neve. I think you say that, Neve, don't mean that word, that name, Neve. Right, so, uh, that, well, I'm not talking about Soho anymore, I'm scribbling that out. So, 90 Day Fiancé is where there are people met who are internet dating. For some reason, they call themselves boyfriends and girlfriends. They've not met each other or anything. Then they go to, so they're all American, but they go somewhere else in the world. So one was uh, met a man from Nottingham. One met a man from Australia. Two lesbians in America and Australia. All things like that. And they meet for the first time, the camera crew follow them. And there's a man from San Diego who's chatting up a lady in Thailand who lives in on the floor in the back room of her sister's shop and things. It's, it's fantastic. Craft TV, wouldn't they say with that Derek in his Christmas jumper? No, we're not doing Christmas jumpers, thank you. Let's not talk about that anymore. I went shopping yesterday and people came up close and ignoring the distance. I did in Tesco's yesterday. I did yesterday. I look good on the big screen, apparently. It's the only way to watch me. That's very, very kind. So now let's talk about the um, masks that you're wearing. No, no, you're not wearing, that you're making for Well Child, right? So what happened was Dulcie, um, part of her helping dress medics, uh, she sent, she got her factory, uh, not her factory, but the factory she's been working with, to send out masks to you all. So we're having 8,000 made all together. Some haven't been sent yet, so don't worry if you haven't got yours yet. Um, some haven't been sent yet. But what happened was we start, she started off by sending the square ones, you see, right? Now these, we just said, do the same technique as on my website, right? Oh, go on, princess, you won't miss much. Um, but, of course, the size is different to my website. And on my website, I say, th say use three layers, but the charity only want two layers. So these... Oh, no! Julia sent them first class, next door delivery. Next day delivery. Ages ago. The day you asked me to. And all the other posts I sent on that day's arrived. There must be something wrong or slowed up with the Wirral post. Oh, no, because the other one's got two, didn't they? Anyway, I sent them the day you asked me to, so that's weird. That's really weird, isn't it? Because I sent some others to another friend on exactly the same day, and he got his the very next morning. Anyway, so what you do is you literally, um, you've got your two pieces of fabric like that. You put the right sides together. You pin your elastic. Oh, I haven't put, oh, I've got my pins here. I'll just show you quickly. You pin your elastic on like this. So if you go to my website, the technique is exactly the same. The finished size, oh, excuse me, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So you literally, I've done that wrong, haven't I? They go in, the elastic goes in the middle. So that goes there like that. Sorry, I'll be with you in a second. I should have pinned this last night. I did more prep for the curved ones because I didn't think we'd need to do the square ones. So literally, now, Helen has a different technique to mine, but you literally pin your elastic. Oops. Oh, it's a long silence. Come on, John. You pin your elastic there and there. Right? Make sure it's going on the inside. You then put the other one right sides down. Obviously, you put both elastics on. You stitch all the way around the outside, leaving a gap along the bottom. You turn it through and then you pleat it. And the finished size needs to be about seven and three quarter inches long by about three and three quarter inches deep. Of course, I didn't bring one up with me this morning, but you know, you've seen everybody's pictures on, on Facebook. So imagine you've sewn the elastic through. You then just pleat it like that. And then you top stitch all around, around the outside and that's it done. Uh, how did you send them? Hang on. How did you send them to who? What does that mean, Hilary, my love? Oh, hang on. Here you go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Jane's mask's not right. That's it's not Jane who's making them. I made some for Jane, right? Oh, I sent some for Jane. Uh, who got them? Post has been postless, uh, hopeless in South London. It's brilliant here, you see, at the moment. Uh, 
We heard that Chester Post Office has got a virus breakout. Oh, that could be why. Because they go to the Wirral, they go through Chester. Hillary says, how did you send them to who? I don't know what you mean by that, Hillary. Can I just say, when you do the square ones with the slippery fabric, I found them easier to tack and baste the elastic in place. Thank you, Alison. Jane Alcock's watching everybody. Uh, missed the beginning. Sorry, can you start again? Warning from Islington. The beginning of the... Right, did you have to sign up for them? Yes, Hillary. I put a thing out saying, does anybody want to help? We're sending 50 masks out. Dulcie's watching. I think we're all right at the moment. I think we're okay at the moment. But if, if we keep an eye out on Facebook, and I'll put another shout out. Yes, Jane, send me, a, send me your address and I'll send you on. Oh, good. Oh, it's done, 35. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. The thing is, right, so it doesn't matter if you... So, so you've got... For the person who asked me just to start again, right? Have that, right? So you get one piece of fabric right sides together and then you pin or baste like Ali did your elastic. All the techniques are on my web. The technique for this is on my website, right? You can go there. The only thing that's different on my website is the size is slightly different. Morning, Laurie. The size is slightly different and it's three layers. This charity only wants two layers. So you literally pin your elastic on the sides like that and like that. Make sure it's going in. Oh, Karen's done those already to sew. Clover click, click would be good. Actually, I've the Crafters Companion ones. I as my sunrise special last week. would be brilliant. Uh, <coughs> yes, Jacqueline, I've got yours already. Then you take the purple, right sides together. You've done both elastics. You stitch all the way around the outside. Just bank them out, right? Leaving a gap across the bottom. Turn it all the way through. Then, so let's imagine that that's it turned through. You then literally put some knife pleats through it like this. And you finish side, and then you top stitch all the way around the outside, right? Top stitch all the way around the outside. I just said that, Helen. Right, Helen put the elastic coming out the top and the bottom. So Helen did hers like this. And what difference does that make, Helen? It lies flat and doesn't fight with you. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. So Helen did hers. Oh, actually, that's a good idea, Helen. I hadn't even thought of that. Hang on, let me just pin it. So Helen... Did hers. I'll get onto the curved ones now, which is what I know. Murder. We don't need any scrub hats at the moment. It's not finished because we're bound to have a second spike, but nobody's asking for scrub hats at the moment. Thank you. After those people going out drinking last night. Look, that's how Helen did hers. If you pin it half an inch in, half an inch in, then that includes the your seam allowance. When you go around your seam allowance, you won't cut. You go. Right, okay. Now, here you go, Pamela. I'm going to do the curved ones for you now. Right, I'm going to do the curved ones for you now. I didn't really prep the square one because that one's on my website, whereas this one isn't on my website yet. So if you got sent the curved ones, right, okay, well, I've got to turn this over. If you got sent the curved ones, right, in theory, you should have been sent. Now, this is slightly different fabric to the one you were going to do, right? Right, okay, so you get, <clears throat> for each, you should have got a hundred of the outside ones and a hundred of the inside ones. Now, some of you have got purple dots and plain, some of you've got pink dots and plain, some of you've got this gorgeous paisley fabric, which I'll show you. Some people have got the same fabric for both. The way you tell the difference is, look, the outside one is bigger than the inside one, okay? So what you do is you get the two outside ones, right sides together. That's the wrong side. That's the wrong side of the fabric you're seeing there. Look, right sides together, and you stitch all down there and all down there like this. So you put your two right sides together, and you stitch all the way. Oh, you stitch all the way down there. I just switched my phone off. Sorry. And then you get the two inside ones together, and you stitch all the way down there. So you've created. And outside, it looks like a looks like a bra cup because it's like got that curved seam there. An outside and an inside, right? Then what you do is you press the seam to set the step set the stitches, and then you snip into the curve, right? You open it out, you press it down, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna top stitch, right? So you've pressed your seam to one side like that. 
so it's all to one side and then on the side that it's there you then top stitch down that side there to hold the um right susan likes making the curved ones chris was just joined us yeah clip the curve just said that tony clip the curve and then you stitch that down now what we ask you to do now if you haven't done this it doesn't matter but what we ask you to do the square ones the elastic is seven inches two two pieces at seven inches right any ideas to stop glasses no mine do the same it's because we're too hot blooded that's why pat right what we ask you to do is if you've put the, the inside one going that way we ask you to do the um outside one going the other way you know like nesting on patchworking right the new method looks better because my machine sometimes has problems sewing around the edge okay i've given up on pressing and snipping takes too long oh okay Aunt claire uh use pinky shears oh yeah you can use pinky shears that's not a problem right so you've top stitched the front one and you've top stitched the back one so you now have a front and a back right i'm changing into different fabric now so you now have a front and a back right there we go so that's what your front looks like i've changed onto a different fabric now see now that's what your front looks like so you've top stitched down there with your seam allowance it's top stitched down there and you leave that as it is right then this is your inside one this is the equivalent of the red one that i just had and what you do is you see the little edges here you do a little roll not a rolled hem you just roll it over rolled it over right and you stitch along there so you've hemmed Bit through, I'm going to my threads. You've hemmed a look, so that's your inside one, right? You don't do anything with your outside one, just your inside one. As I say, if I miss your question, I'll um I'll catch up with it now. You can send it in again later if I'm with that. Right, then what you do, you don't touch this one. This one's still got the raw, this one's still got raw edges, look, right? So you then put right sides together of your mask like that. And as you'll see, the big one. Is much, the, the front one is much, much bigger than the back one. See what I mean? Okay, so you then machine all the way around the top, machine all the way along the bottom, clip into the curves, right? And then you pull it through. You pull it through, you see, you've put, so you've now got two right sides showing, the inside, the outside. So this is what the inside now looks like. So you've got the seam there or the hem there that you've done on the on the little one. So that's open. And then the front one is too big. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you now do is you fold that over and that over. And you create a channel for your elastic to go through. Right. So so then that looks like this. I've got one side. So there's your inside with the little hem on it. There's the outside that you just turned over and over. Um, some people do ask for three layers, Penny, but our charities only ask for two layers. So that's why we've done it for two layers, see. So then you do that on both sides. So you end up, if I'm going too quickly, just say, and um, the thing is you can always watch this on YouTube yeah, later on, on um, my Facebook later and watch it. So then what you end up with is you end up with a mask that looks like this from the front. And then on the back, it looks like that and that on both sides. Now, that's because you can buy filters to go in these. And if people want to put filters in, they can put filters in as well if they want to. But the charity just asked them to be like that. And I'm not going to put these on because obviously these will be sent to somebody eventually. Oh, Nikki, if they send you eight inch length, then put an eight inch length on. And by the time you've hemmed it, they'll be a bit smaller, won't they? Um. There you go. Linda's made the two layers with space in between. So that's exactly like that. So then what you've got is you've then been sent elastic, right? Now, the people who've been sent the curved ones will have just been sent a great big bundle of elastic. You need to cut two elastics at 13 inches. Uh, right. Now, they've said that the seam length is three eighths of an inch, but you can do quarter of an inch. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, put a piece of bias band on the top to thread pipe clean or you can do that if you want to the charity obviously with the charity we're making for have asked for them to be like this so you can put you can put pipe cleaner through if you want to did you put a wire in no i haven't put any wire in it's all just soft and squidgy like that right so then you take your two elastics now these are 13 inches in length right two of them like that and they're going to go through the casement 
at the end here. Oh, look, uh, Dulcie, I've made 15. Is that enough? We need as many as we can get hold of, Penny. But were you, were you making your own or are you making them from the, the thing? Because Dulcie should have sent you 50 if she sent you some. I've read somewhere in place tissue between the two days. Stop your glasses, team. Oh, try that one. Oh, that's a different method. Yes, it is, Jan. It is a different method to the crafters one. It is a, a different one because they're, they're cut differently, aren't they? So anyway, so now it's time to put the elastic through. So what you do is if you've got a bodkin or if you've got one of these, it makes life much easier. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go through the, on the front panel. You see, you've got a little casement there. You're just going to push. I put, put nose wires. OK, if you want nose wires, you can put nose wires in. It's not a problem. Right. Then you literally just push. This is where I need two cameras, really, isn't it? You push the elastic through. Like that. See how easy that was with that bodkin. Right, Dulcie says, if you make more, that works. Oh, yeah, any are helpful, but... Um, OK, Penny says, make your own there. You can do the rectangular ones as well. Oh, yeah, the crochet hooks get good there as well. So that's what it now looks like on both sides, right? I'll do the other one. Well, we'll do the other one while we're here. And then you push that one through the casing. OK, looks like... Try not to catch the seam allowance. Hang on, that's got caught up. It's quite a tight fit with it with this. I just used a safety pin on mine when I did my first ones. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So then you've got your two elastics going through your two casements. Now, what we said originally, well, no, right, okay. If you have been sent a bag of toggles, then you do what I'm gonna show you now, right? Hang on, I was threading through this. I was threading through, but I've since sewn the elastic into the channel faster. I don't know how you do that, Claire. Don't worry, oh, hello, Shirley Morell. I used to work on the till with Shirley Morell at Brown to Chester about a hundred years ago. <coughs> uh, private message me, Hillary, if you want to, if you want to go on the reserve list, private message me. I use a bodkin, yet yeah, it's fantastic work. Uh, okay, Creative Grids have just uh, done a, issued a template. So have another company, which I'll get them out for you now, which a lot of you have already been to. Callosphere, Callosphere, right? Anyway, so there you've got your two elastics, right? If you haven't been set a bag of toggles, then all you do, is you just knot your elastics together, right? Yeah, yeah, Jane, Jane, you need to send your you need to send your dress in, but I don't know if Dulcie has got any left, so you'll have just send your your, your name in, and uh, we'll put you on the reserve list. List, uh, John Square, which is the width seven and three. All right, no, no, you need to be seven and three quarters across. And three and three quarters down. That's what you, you finished. You finished one of your squares need to be. Right. OK, so there's your elastic. So what you then do is you haven't got toggles. You just pull that through so that the knot goes inside. Oh, I'm going to have the knot on a bit too tight now. You pull it through so that the knot goes inside the casing. And then people just wear them like that. You see, now, if you were sent the plastic toggles, what you need to do is you need to get a toggle out, right? Now, Dulcie, Dulcie ordered some um, proper ones from one of the... Oh, thank you, uh, whoever's answering to Dawn. Thank you. It's, I can't see all the questions there. Uh, but Dulcie, this is from an aquarium. Not from an aquarium. It's clean, obviously. Uh, right, OK. So what you then do... Now, Dulcie's created this little tool which is a paper clip, right? With a just, she's just bent a paper clip round. There you go. So if you want to go on the reserve list, private message me or email me your address. I'll pass it on to Dulcie. And then if they've got some more to send out, they'll send them out to you, right? Okay, so what you do is you get your, your so that's how, what it looks like, your paper clip there, right? You push it through your toggle like that. Then you put both elastics, You put both elastics through the hole at the end, like that, and you just pull. 
right there you go so then you've got your toggle on there right then you knot it now we know that this doesn't look as neat when you just knot it like this but it just it saves because obviously different people are different sizes aren't they different people have got different size faces different size ears this way it's like posh sunglasses you see that so if you had it out there you'd have your elastic at full length but if you pull it in like that then obviously a child could wear that then because it's only a little loop then so i'll put this one on actually i'll put this one on so this one here is your normal length you see but then this one on this side you could oh hang on you can alter it so it's the right length so it keeps it tight can you see that so so that's that and that's how you make the two different masks now i have got a printed one on on um not a pdf what's it called oh no that's the army in ethiopia isn't it um ipd no what's it called? epf whatever it is i can send you this basically if you want this but you have to email me for that you do have to email me for that one so are there any questions or have i covered it Oh, there you go. The tubing is fine for the washing machine. Calisphere templates. There you go. Um, right. For us. Oh, hang on. I'll tell you. I've got it. I've got one here. Oh, now. If you're using Calisphere, mine only had one size on it. So I don't know what's. Hang on. Where's the pattern piece gone? Oh, right, mine. Oh, now I don't know how to describe because mine hasn't got a small, medium and large on it. Shall I tell you how big? I'll tell you how big it is. And then you can tell me which size it is on the Calisphere template. Because my the Calisphere template I was sent doesn't have any sizes on it. So this edge along here is, oh, oh yeah, ruler's root inches. There we go is three and three quarter inches along. Oh no, hang on, I shouldn't measure that, I should measure this one. Four and a quarter inches across. That's how big that one is. Oh, in fact, they'll both be four and a quarter inches across. And then, I suppose, I suppose I could only measure this way for you, hang on. It's five and a half inches that way down. For the back one and the front one will obviously be six and a half inches going down so i don't know i can't tell you the size of the callus one um so victoria i can't give you an answer to that one oh, i've checked the tubing is fine in the washing machine okay john i'll send toggles with a square mask pack i'll return them with the mask okay yeah i don't know why you got the toggles with the square mask one just send them back that'd be brilliant thank you very much indeed uh if the elastic long then please use the adjuster Right, which, which, uh, Dotty, are you talking about the square ones? Because where would you, the, the elastic won't be long enough if you put a knot in them. Could, because if they've been sent eight inch elastics, they won't be long enough, will they? PDF, thank you, Maureen. That's what I was looking for. PDF, PDF, PDF. I do mean PDF, 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 thank you. Uh, are the ones like me didn't receive any on the reserve list? Oh, uh, Dulcie, we'll check. We'll check. If you've already sent your address in, you're definitely on a list already. But you can send it in again. It's not a problem. Hello, Martina. Don't worry. Does it matter what colour thread you use? No, not at all. Not at all, Sheila. They're going to help help visitors. If you think, if you're going to look up what Well Child, it's, it's a charity. It's a nationwide charity for children who are severely, severely poorly. Right. The download has two sizes, small and large. Which download are you talking about, Barbara? Oh, I see they're separate. I bought right, Jill didn't get toggles, but happy to buy them to use. No, 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 Jill, just send them, just send them. I didn't top stitch the front. It doesn't matter if you don't top stitch down the front of the first lot, Elizabeth, because we didn't tell you, we didn't send you any instructions, you see. I have a die cutting machine for Crafters Edge. Do a setting different size. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Adam's making some more for us. Julie Maureen's joined us. Oh, hello, Maureen. Uh, Geraldine's posting a mask tomorrow. Forget them all finished today. Love the fabric. Right, the fabric, you can buy the fabric. You can get the fabric from, it's called wholesale.co.uk. It's called M-P-E-M-P-E-E. -E -E. 
Uh, it's, that's this wholesale. They do sell to the public. You can buy Swiss ones on eBay. Um, uh, Dulcie, I'm not asking people to spend their money. I, I'm not going to ask people to spend their money on uh, tabs. They're, they're giving us so much of their time. I don't want them buying things. Thank you very much indeed. Right, okay. So is there anything else that I need to... What length are there across the face, nose to ear? That you mean the... They mean this. This, nose to ear... Whereabouts do you mean, Sarah? Which bit do you want me to measure? There, across there, across the middle of the pattern there. It is... Do you mean... No, okay, Sarah, you need to uh, tell me, are they... You mean finished or when they're cut out? Uh, uh, fin yeah, finished or they're cut out. When they're cut out, they are six and a quarter inches. And... Oh, hang on, let's do this one. Six and a half inches, the big one, and the small one is five and three quarters. Five and three quarters, if that's what you mean, sorry. But do send me a message. Right. Now, somebody else asked me how earlier, how they do the dolls, right? Um, if you go to my website, world. Can I not use cotton fat? Yeah, you can. Let's see, you can use your own fabric. Of course you can. But we were just sending these out because they were already cu already cut for you. So so that we were supplying the fabric. Oh, John, you're talking out of sync now. Oh, dear. If these children are going to wear them for a long time, you may need to... Uh, yeah, they won't be wearing them for a long time, Pamela. And they're mainly for the visitors than the children. I've got a PDF of... The instructions, I don't have a PDF of the pattern. I do not have a PDF of the pattern. I only have a PDF of the instructions, I'm afraid. I don't know how to, if I knew how to make one, I'd make one. But Ali, who does all that for me, is well on holiday, so I don't know how to. Bye, Nikki. I use the dinner plate method. Oh, okay. We'll have to see what that is. I don't know what that one is. Uh, so anyway, www. Yes, we desperately need doll families, uh, Jennifer. Someone else asked me. Right, okay. Very quickly, Sarah, on the, the lining from the edge to edge, it's five and three quarters. And on the outside one, it's six and a half. Right, instructions, yeah. So just email me from that. Just email me and I'll send you those. Uh, if, uh, uh, only a few of you emailed me, though, because last time I said I can email, I had over 900 messages to reply to. Because um, I don't know how to print it onto my website or anything. Uh, Six Penny Memories has a pattern for free. Oh, there you go, Judith. Judith says... Right, so, the doll pattern. The doll pattern is on my website, www.johnscottsewingworld.com. www.johnscottsewingworld.com. Go to free, uh, there's a page where it uh, says, I need your help. And it's all about Francesca, all about the dolls and the patterns are there for the clothes and for the dolls. Uh, Carol, hopefully you received my parcels of dolls yesterday. Carol, no, I didn't, I haven't received yours yet, Carol. I haven't received yours yet. I got Caroline's and I got, uh, I did get three bundles yesterday, but I don't think yours was there. Oh, good. That's I've answered Sarah's question. That's good then. So was there anything else you want to ask me or Dulcie while we're here? God, the time's flown by, hasn't it? Because um, what else do I need to talk to you about? Oh, remember, remember that my first column in Simply Sewing. She's excellent. The lovely lady on Crafts of Ireland. Oh, OK. Don't know that one. Uh, if you want a PDF of face mask, you can find hundreds on Pinterest. Oh, there you go. There you go. Thanks, Marcia. Uh, I'm sure there's lots around. In fact, in Simply Sewing last month, there was a pattern for the curved ones. I'm trying that method for my daughter to see if it's a tighter fit. It looks a great way to make the curved ones. Oh, you're welcome, Sally. Uh, Dulcie's done all this. I've done nothing. These are all Dulcie's, um, this is all Dulcie's uh, doing. Um, so what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, Simply Sewing. My first uh, column is in the August issue 72. If you join the subscription now, if you want to do a subscription, there's a special one on the page. Now, don't go to the £5 one. Go to the one six months for £10. Oh, there you go. Uh, and if you do that before the 22nd of July, you will get the mag the your first magazine will be my first column. I know. I sent them a track they've been signed for. Oh, yes, yeah, send me the message. Uh, they no, they we're not do they're not doing signing for here, Carol. So, um, 
There might, there might be some in the box, in the big box. I'm sure yours didn't arrive yesterday. But we're, they're not doing signed for at the moment, are they? They bleep them in the van and then put them in my box. And I've, I've got a couple of boxes I haven't opened yet, Carol, but I'm sure yours weren't there. I'll double check. I will double check. Send me a message. PM me, Carol, and I'll, I'll have a look. Geraldine, it's my own, it's my pleasure. It's my absolute pleasure. Uh, Elaine's joined Simply Sewn. So, uh, have you got any other questions you need to ask, would like to ask, um, about the mask? Because Dulcie's watching, so she can answer your questions on that. Um, scrubs, bags and scrubs, uh, caps, we're saying, if you've started some, then by all means, <coughs> send them in, but don't start making any for a fresh. Cousin Susan's going to make the curves onto her family. It's only by direct debit. What, what the magazine? No, you can buy it in Tesco's, you can buy it in Waitrose, you can buy it in WH Smith's, you can do all sorts of things. Sandra, what do you mean am I going on the telly again? I do my show every Tuesday from Crafters TV. Uh, oh, look, um, go and sort your husband out. Go and sort him out, poor love. Broke his ankle. Oh, at this time, that's not a good time to be, it's not a good time to do that any time, is it? Let alone now. Craftpassion.com have the same curved face covering in different sizes plus a video. There you go. Should be the pleats be equally spaced on the square ones? If they can be, possibly, they should be equally spaced. But I know you're, you're churning out 50 of them, so it doesn't matter. Because what happens is you open them out. When you put them on your face, you open out the pleats anyway. That's right. Uh, thank you, Dulcie, for all the... She's done shed loads. She's done shed loads, hasn't she? If you have a digital machine, do you get less patterns? Oh, um, digital magazine. I have no idea, Claire. I don't even know what that means. Well, you can get the magazine digitally. Are they there? Some of my therapy dolls that Silly Nanny Jilly made. They're nice, aren't they? Uh, Bernie has subscribed to Simply Sewing. It's a good deal with John's link. Yeah, the, the link still stands till the 22nd. Oh, the car is just in the drive. I've got a hire car now for the rest of the month. I know my car broke down coming back from work on Tuesday. So I've now had to hire a car because my garage can't fit me until the 29th of July. Uh, Jackie, I've said, oh, loads of subscribed. I'll have to have a word with them. My Scrubs hat at Ascot. My, oh, Scrub Hub at Ascot is now making pyjamas for children. Oh, that's nice, Pamela. That's cute. We, I've not heard of that one. That must be a local thing. So we've not heard of that one up here. Uh, exactly. She does, doesn't she, Dominique? Dulcie deserves an NB for everything she's done. She does indeed. You can subscribe on the magazine app. Oh, do you? Well, in that case, I don't. I can't imagine you would get the patterns then, because you get free patterns with simply saying every month. So if you subscribe on the, I don't know. I don't know how that how that works because some of them are physical patterns that are in the envelope with your magazine. I imagine the ones in the magazine you'll get. It's a great deal. Nine nine ten. Let's start. See, I just like to say a huge thank you to everyone for the help. I'm sorry it's been a bit chaotic. I naively. Oh, and I can't open the Dulcie's message. There you go. I never imagined it would be such a huge response. You're all amazing. Not only so talented, also generous with your time. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Uh, Dulcie didn't realise the power of you lot, basically. Uh, you know, because she knew that you'd all made scrubs, bags, scrubs, hats, headbands, everything like that. But when she said, oh, could you ask a few if they mind making these? No, I don't. I don't. I've got my dad's MB somewhere anyway. Uh, morning, Ben. All right, Ben. No, listen, I'm only... To, I, the thing is, right, somebody was saying that to me yesterday, oh, you should get something to do this. Now, it's got me through... It's got me through the whole of this pandemic thing, being able to do this. Because otherwise, well, what would I have done? I've got even fatter and I've sat... Well, <clears throat> it was only sunny the first couple of weeks, wasn't it? <coughs> oh, and you're late. You've missed the whole thing. Look, Ali's saying hello to Ben. You know Ben, don't you? Ben? Oh, this is Ben. Hang on, I've got a picture of Ben here. You know, Ben, we made him a quilt. Look, this is Ben. Oh, that was the first time I met Ben at Festival of Quilts. This is a, um, a computer mat he made for me. So that was the first time I met Ben at uh, Festival of Quilts. And um, he's grown up fast and very quickly and getting into a very cheeky. Hello, Paula. Into a very, very cheeky young man he is now. I can't get Simply Sewing Offers. Or do you have a magazine off with them? Well, we're, we're simply sewing, you mean? You can get it if you've got one, the other one, surely. Dulcie, never be afraid to ask John to ask us. We'll always, always help because you, you're helping you has helped us get through this. Oh, thank you. That's Jill, who's made all of those dolls up there. Now, they're slightly larger, 
But um, uh, Francesca was saying how brilliant they're going to be. Absolutely brilliant. Would fabric left over from making scrubs be suitable to make masks, i.e. poly cotton? It would be as long as you can wash it. Um, not old, we don't want old, that, that, that sounds a bit rude. I don't want old duvets. I don't want any made out of old duvets. Cousin Susan, you're perfectly welcome. Uh, oh yes, there you go, you see. We've all got, this has helped us all get through, hasn't it? I'm new to Crafters Companion. Oh, suddenly going quickly. I can thoroughly recommend it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Martina. Uh, good morning, John. Is the sewing mag link on your website? It's on my Facebook page, on both of my Facebook pages. But be careful. It's the $9.99 for six months, right? $9.99 for six months. That's the one you want. Not the $9.99 for three, or the five pounds for three months. You want the $9.99 for six months. It's on, I, 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 I'll, I'll see if I can repeat it on my website for you now. Can we have a closer look at one of the dolls, please? Of course you can. And also, oh, also I'll get the, the thing that Angelina gave me. It's um, it's a kind of just a leather suede shawl thing. I know. She also gave me a um. She also gave me a uh, hip flask, which my niece Alex now has. Right. These are these are, now these are Jilly na silly nanny Jilly Swash's uh, therapy dolls. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, these are slightly bigger than, than um, the ones we've asked you to make. So my pattern won't make this one. In fact, I'll, do you want me to go and get you one of the other ones in a minute? Uh, scrub fabric's a bit... Th oh, look, scrub fabric is a bit thin for masks, I've tried. Claire, I think some of the scrub fabric we had might be a bit thick as well. So just you just want a nice crafting cotton, really. Anyway, these are gorgeous, aren't they? These are by Jilly. Jill Swash. Look at that one. She's got a lovely little... Caroline Lindsay, that one's Caroline Lindsay, isn't it? Look, with a little bolero on. You don't know how much... Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Iris. Hello from the Delta. What's the Delta? I'm so glad I found that, that magazine. They've done that magazine subscription, especially for me. I don't know how anyone has coped with lockdown. No, exactly, exactly. Oh, Ali. Oh, you're, oh, you're so kind. I signed up and was accepting the message for you, but I said I can't. Oh, that's weird, Carol. I'll ask Charlie for it. We'll ask Charlie. They're all washed at 60 and new fabrics. Oh, there you go, Victoria. Then perfect, perfect. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at look at their dresses. Look how much fabric are in their dresses. So um, if you do, uh, let me let me very quickly go and get some other of the ther therapy dolls in the other room. Carol, I just looked at the ones that arrived yesterday. Yours didn't come. So maybe they'll come tomorrow. So look, aren't these gorgeous? These are made by different people. These are all different ones that we've received. They're just gorgeous. They're fantastic. Francesca is so overwhelmed by everything that you've done for her. Are you going to do more hours on Crafters TV? Eventually, yes. At the moment, it's just a Tuesday. No, I'm all right. <laughs> I'll tell you what it was. It's the... The first door, oh look, you can see a bit of light bulb, that's not very nice. The first door outside here used to be where the boiler was, and I had the boiler taken out and my washing machine, my tumble dryer in there, and I walked into the door. Is it simply so or simply sewing? It's simply sewing. It's the UK's largest, biggest selling sewing magazine. Where's your lamp safe for landing? I haven't got one because I haven't painted the landing yet. You and Sake B have helped me through lockdown. You've also given, uh, Christopher bought a new sewing machine yesterday, everybody. He bought a Genome. My daughter has thrown away, no, has worn some very snazzy scrubs in beautiful colours. Oh, I'm sure. Um, simply sewing it is, everybody. Simply sewing. Um, right, I'm out of breath now running across that. So, we need to talk about, oh, now. Uh, do I remember the series Caleb? Oh, yes. Only just, though. Oh, June, it's my pleasure. It's has been absolutely my pleasure. In fact, it'd be weird, wouldn't it? If, well, I say when we go back to normal but what i don't know when that will be it could be forever couldn't it and the awful thing is you hear about um they're thinking of cancelling all the pantos now don't you that's even more frightening because you think of christmas being miles away yet and that it's just oh it's a sorry state of affairs isn't it right so are we done so right if you want me to send you if you want me to put you on the list 
for Dulcie's masks, then please, please, please just send me a private message and I'll make a list and I'll pass it on to Dulcie this week. Oh, wish Michaela's getting an overlocking next week. Um, if you want these instructions, then just email me and I'll EPG them. No, what was the, whatever the word was she said earlier? Morning, Isabel. Uh, if you want the deal for the Simply Sewing magazine, then go to my website, uh, not my website, my Facebook page. No, I don't know what normal is anymore either, Iris. It's the weirdest. And I, I've got, you see, I get really uppity because I followed the rules, right? I followed the rules from beginning to end, right? Which I know isn't very like me because I don't normally, but... And then you like you're just walking around a supermarket yesterday, people ignoring the arrows on the bottom, people ignoring social distancing. Then you see all those people out last night drinking in Soho. I wonder if stitches will be on in March. I know. It's frightening, isn't it? Oh, actually, now there's a there's craft thing, a free craft thing at the moment that Jennifer Taylor's doing this today, isn't she? Debbie Shaw is um hosting it. PDF, thank you, Nikki. PDF uh, Jenny Debbie Shaw's hosting it, and Jennifer Taylor's doing one of the classes. I'll PM you to add you to this. That's perfectly. EPG. What is EPG? Oh, no, EPG is the thing you look at on the telly, isn't it, to see what's coming on. Uh, you're more than welcome. And if I've missed anything out, just send me a message and I will reply as soon as I can. I have to say, this last week, I've had more messages than ever. So if, if I haven't answered you, I do apologise. What's happening on Tuesday, John? Uh, well, I've got my show. Oh, it's my show, Crafters TV show, right? Uh, Joe Carter's on. She'll be in the studio with me. And, oh, that's my door. Look, it's all the wind going through my house, right? Uh, a brand spanking new soft toy inspired by my Norman. I know. That's on Tuesday at nine o'clock. Now, I know how many we've got, and I think they're going to sell out really, really, really quickly. So if you are going to watch on Tuesday morning, nine o'clock. Where can I find that, John with Jennifer Taylor? Oh, I knew you were going to ask me that. Hang on. Let me just look on her page quickly. It's called... Right, hang on. Oh, talk about live, answering questions live. I'll just find this out for you. I'm just looking, for, I'm just, not Lucy. Not Lucy's not on it, Helen. Jennifer Taylor's on it. Right, hang on a sec. So let me look up. No, not that one. <gasps> I'm not very, you can tell I'm not very, what's it, savvy, can't you cancel? Right, so I'm looking for Jennifer Taylor. Jennifer Taylor, there we go. Right, so it's this, right? You need to go and look. Um, how do you make the picture bigger? Um, or can't you on um, Instagram? That's what you need to go and look for. Or oh, I better make sure nothing rude pops up while you're reading it. That's what you're looking for, right? It's on here and John next door got to this cell. It's called the Creative Craft Show Live. If you just Google that, it'll come up, right? And you'll see, I don't know who else is on today. Let's see if I can, I'll, I'll see if I can find it for you now. Creative Craft Show Live. Bear with me, caller. There it is. Oh. Right, Creative. Creative. Craft Show Live, right? So I've just Googled it. There it is. It's been very slow today. Right, okay, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on your page. And then, there you go. What's on? Hey, oh, that's Saturday. There they go. There's Debbie Shaw, Sunday's host. And, oh, here we go. That's Saturday. Sunday. So who's on on Sunday? So you've got needle felting, Christmas stocking, uh, ragged sunflower bag, Jennifer Taylor sewing, Debbie Shaw sew a bag, adorable... Amigurumi. I don't know what that is. Uh, knitting and crochet and slow. Oh, Tilly Rose Vintage is doing this as well. Doesn't tell you what times are on, but if you go to that, you can watch it on your telly. Right, thank you, Mary. You're very kind. Uh, oh, I've missed loads. Missed loads of messages. Do a project. When this is all over, love you to do a roadshow. We've talked about that. Looked at that. Looking up John's website and his business page on Facebook. Uh, Right. Oh, I, I spoke to Lucy a couple of weeks ago. She's fabulous. She lost so much weight. She looks amazing. But I couldn't believe she was only 40. I know. She looks much older than that, doesn't she? She's not watching, so it's fine. Right, I'm going. Uh, have a lovely day. So now, on Tuesday, 
I'll be on Crafters TV, so make sure you see that. Uh, oh, yes, oh, yes, also, 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 if you go to Anna Sewing Nuts uh, Facebook page, she's got videos and patterns for dolls as well. So it doesn't matter which one, uh, which one you do, it really doesn't matter. Or if you've got a pattern of your own, you can do those. Ooh. All we ask is that you do either a mummy, daddy, a child, boy, child, girl. N no anatomically correct, we don't want boobs or anything like that. And they have to have clothes that can be taken off and pants that can be taken off. Right, hang on, can you... Can you get Tilly Rose and Jennifer on Crafters, please? I'm going to try. I'm going to try, definitely. Right. So I'll see you on Crafters TV on Tuesday. I'll be back on Thursday morning if you still want it for coffee and natter on Thursday morning, because that was the great British saying, be, wasn't it? Oh, battery's going. All right. Bye, Susan. Uh, I'll tell you more about the tour when I know more about it, Sally, I promise. Uh, and I'll see you next Thursday. And, and next Sunday, I'm going to be sewing a Baffer's bag. I'm going to be sewing one of Baffer's bags next Sunday. I know it looks like I'm terrified. But anyway, take care. See you later. Lots of love. Bye.